is broken by ticks in an uneventful army store. Robbing these unused killing things, this sickening dirt class, penned by these Germans with their sore boots on. And Black did not ride by in her German black car. She spoke sweet phrases. The lies, the lies are calling me home. The lies are calling me home. Boat and edged and skin like rocks and fountains and caves and a milieu of earth things. And these unscented worms filtering through wet eggs and seeds and apples and nuttiness as it seems. When brains are faggots partying on the wrong side of the moon. The new bones ache and scratch, and nobody can tell I lack elasticity. The air from here stops, and my mouth, like acidic tongue of godhood, devour of ancient hosts and blood and blood hands. I am of the dull school, and it of my time. It kisses a new zoo of fly, empty, and pickings, and strawberry sittings, and pots in flower, taking one of my honors away. Taking one of my honors away. Taped to the sonogram of memory. Foam home of sex and wretch. The watch of my knife, its keeper, its moon, and the bread of the other. The hour of the last chime. The church, its organ broke, broke in. He came in her parcel, crunching under his fingers. And the echoes blowing and folding and drowning out the cries of the children. Slice, hit, rat. It hit me hard like a bolt, a prism of song, a stain of birth, engulfed in your hardcore drum. The wider your arm moved, the heavier its load. Along wanting the dazed eyes, the shudder for wails of the unyoung. The old in him, a voice and eyes locked, locked out. Who are you, your father's son? His leg twisted, his jumps. Where do I take you, I told, with your poetic song and your blue, blue eyes and your hair of the sun. His stout riding by the art cart home. She left with her dialogue sewn up into the parade of thoughts not wanted. No corrupt nag in me, away from nature's hour. The legs got up and ran, and they ran down the grass, the grass she was used to, the grass of the city, with arrows and lights, and the storm she was used to never called by. For this desert song on her lung was far, far away, and the mother's chair had broken. Spending an hour too long on the barrow bent curvings of his architectural glories, and junkies stopping and spitting, and shards of hard mailings and fleeting on two horses by, rose up and rose up above their precarious vaces, a narrow name caught in a lisp. I saw drawings of paper, 
and broken down homes of the women entered. The crisp white sheets laid like maps, maps and housing plans and the nuns and cancelled bridges. And they called high out on the view of little Brazil. The ballymun of my long stay and her tattooed back playing God waiting with the workers. Their happiness of the long forgotten. And I go home. I go home to my cottage and thinking of the man in the cap and his no teeth swallowing and sharing his tea and her furrowed face calling and bedding her opening doors without him I slam, slam, slam with my smile, my crooked teeth, my unhidden agendas easily having cornflakes and talking but do not wake me in my sleep do not question my keep and do not stare at my unending inputs of truism and I promise too many it's not over my tongue. Just sitting on the spit for dear old junkie. I have built it and scrubbed it and pinned it. Held it up in the soft soundings. It's callings of the silver box of the moving lift to the taken floor. Held off with a gait another year older. And the smiles of the art whores waving and washing their hands. Their product, their last tale, the tale of the risen. The left wing surrounded by this face of class.